a crying baby will literally make you feel like you're losing your mind. What's going on? I feel like picking my hair out right now. The only option right now is some tough love. You know how sometimes babies will cry because they want to be picked up and just held? But you know how that's also bad because once they get used to being picked up and held, that's all they want to do. Which at this point, I feel like that's the case right now. So I'm literally going to have to like sit here and tough love it out. Like I, I have to let her cry because I feel like this is the only way to fix what seems to be the problem. But I feel so bad. But it's what I have to do because I'm sure nothing's wrong with her. I fed her. I changed her diaper. Um, nothing's biting her. See, now I'm talking and she literally stopped crying. If I walk away, she cries. If I put her down, she cries. So I think I figured out the problem. And now I'm implementing a solution to fix the problem. Which makes me feel like a terrible person, but... I have to do what I have to do. I have to be strong. I cannot fall for the crying. Okay, now she's pooping. Since I had my daughter in 2010, I always heard my sister saying she does not want to have kids. And for a very long while, I thought it was like, I don't know. I don't know what I thought, but I thought she was crazy for saying that. I'm, I was just like, who does not want to have kids and why wouldn't you want to have kids? Like, you know, that's what women are supposed to do. Reproduce, recreate or whatever. And oh my gosh, I think I finally, after eight years, because it's been eight years since I've had my daughter, I figured out why my sister never wanted to have kids. These are the moments that... She dreads why she, my daughter used to cry, but it's not like she would just cry for no, I mean, I guess babies have reason, have moments where they cry for no reason, but she didn't used to cry hysterically because I've never been one to like hold her up all the time or anything like that. Because I feel like this is how you spoil kids and when you spoil kids, it's hard for other people to deal with them, you know? So I've never been one to do that. And my sister still had no interest in having kids of her own she said you know what i'll be an aunt because i could give you your kid back and go home or i don't have to deal with this forever permanently she's not mine she's yours i could go home i don't have to do this but oh my gosh when i think about how babies cry sometimes and how it gets frustrating because you don't know what to do but you know nothing's wrong with them and you don't want to give them bad habits but you feel so bad for leaving them there these are these are the reasons why my sister refuses to have kids. And at this point, eight years later, I can say I do not blame her. You have to be strong to be able to deal with kids in general. I mean, I guess at a certain age, like when they're babies, it's like you have to instill like the right habits and morals and whatever like when they're growing and then when they get to a certain age it's already in them so it's kind of harder for them to break and even if they do they know what's right and what's not but just the teaching stage alone is so hard it's it's so hard and some people are just not built to deal with that and i feel like my sister wasn't built because when i could I could sit there and say it's fine she'll stop crying my sister would either cave and pick her up or felt like she was losing her mind and she just did not want to deal with it and now i feel so bad that i judged her for eight long years so yesterday i was at the bus stop and my ass was literally freezing off so now i brought my scarf the bus stop is like a good walk from the house so i get this is the only exercise I get. So it's kind of good for the most part. I'm vlogging publicly and people just look. Anyways, walking to the bus stop. 
because now I know how to take the bus. I am an ambitious bus rider and I'm going to hell home because Dwayne cannot pick me up today. Thank you.